Hey, this is Dave. We're uh, getting ready to take this chimney out. Because the chimney is bearing the weight of the floor above us, we need a temporary wall. And uh, we're going to show you how to build this temporary wall. Basically what it does is it holds the structure of everything that the chimney is now holding up. So when we drop this weight to the chimney, the floor remains standing. This is the finished structure of the temporary wall. And next we're going to show you how to build it. Okay, here we're on this side of the chimney. This side is, also needs to be supported. Before you do any work like this, before we started, before we got ready to do this, we talked to a structural engineer. Uh, he not only calculated the size of beam that's going to replace all of this, but he told us to go ahead and put up temporary walls. Uh, kind of a no-brainer, because you don't... When you remove this, all that weight's going to want to come down. And so that's the purpose of temporary walls, and that's why we're doing what we're doing to make it uh, completely safe. What we've done is taken uh, a board. This is, uh, I guess, functioning as a header, and it's. Our, I already screwed it to the rafter, the floor joist above, and our, we take our plumb bob and make sure that this wall comes straight down to the base plate below it so that this wall is straight up and down and we'll also put a level on each of the supporting studs to make sure they're straight up and down you don't want a crooked wall because the crooked wall won't support like a straight wall will we already cut these we cut it a little bit long to make sure that it's good and tight if you have a project where you're doing any kind of framing at all, a six foot level, it's very sweet. Gives you a good accurate reading over uh, longer space. There we go. So that one's in and it's wedge fit now. And we'll take a couple, you can do nails or screws, tend to like screws because we're going to take this down a little bit. So. And we just start toenailing these guys in. And then we do the same thing to the bottom. It keeps anything from sliding around. Okay, that's one. And we put one under each joist. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven more here to go. And when we get all done, not only we're getting ready to do demo upstairs to take the chimney out, but when we get all done, before we put the rafter in, the three beams that are going to support the floor permanently, uh, we'll have temporary walls that go all the way, the whole length, on both sides, to make sure that we've taken care of that whole load that's above us. To really complete this wall, we're going to add a cross brace to it. And the, the purpose of this is just to make the wall completely rigid. Uh, there'll be no flex in it whatsoever. This will make this wall absolutely rock solid. When you're below the weight that's above us, it's really nice to have that extra peace of mind. That right there is a pretty sturdy wall. So uh, we are ready to take the chimney down. And here's our fully supported temporary wall. <laughs> 